Hey boaters, it's Jim from Ray Marine with a Yacht Sense Link tech tip. I'm here with Brian Jensen, product manager for the Yacht Sense family. And we wanted to show you a little bit about configuration of Yacht Sense. So you can see we've brought this uh, giant display panel up here, but it's got some of the key uh, components for a Ray Marine Yacht Sense system on it. We have uh, this Axiom XL multifunction display. We have uh, some Yacht Sense digital switching components here and the YachtSense Link Marine router. So uh, Brian, if I need to set this up and kind of get the configuration going, where do I go to do that? You, there's actually a couple different ways to do it, which makes it really easy. Um, first of all, um, if you have a Ray Marine chart plotter, there is an actual icon you can click on and uh, access the configuration page. Okay. That's if the router is connected to uh, your chart plotter. Um, if you do not have a Raymarine chart plotter, that's okay because we do have this info that you can see here on the side of the router that has a QR code okay. or a URL. So you can access this on any mobile device, any computer, anything like that, and also get to the configuration page. Okay, you just link it to the network that that creates, log it's, in with the password or the QR code, and you're in. That's right. So uh, pretty easy, multiple ways to do it. Um, why don't we, though, show them how to do it from the chart plotter? And really, the chart plotter and the uh, configuration page on the chart plotter is identical to what you'll see on a computer or mobile device. Okay, so I'm going to bring this Axiom up full screen so everyone can see it. And you mentioned there is a new icon for this. And I guess that's this guy up here in the top right-hand corner. If you can kind of see where my mouse is, uh, there is sort of a silhouette of a Yacht Sense Link router. Yep, that's right. So you just click on that and that's going to launch the configuration page. Oh yeah, there we go. Yacht Sense Link. And I see it pops right in and okay, so it lands us on, looks like a system status page. So what is this doing for us? Yeah, so this is the, the configuration page and this is very similar to how you'd set up a home Wi-Fi network. So if you have any experience doing a router at home, very similar. Uh, we obviously have a few more extra features, but um, Pretty, pretty easy to navigate uh, interface. The first page you're gonna see is just a status page. Okay. And this is where you're gonna look at, are you actually connected to Wi-Fi? Um, are you broadcasting internet through, the, through your access point? Also at the top there, you can see in those sort of yellow letters, there's uh, showing whether or not your boat has been onboarded. Um, and by onboarded, what that means is connected to the cloud okay. and able to access it via your mobile device. And so we're going to show more about how to do that in a different video, but you can at least see there the status of it and if everything's connected. Okay. So basic status page. Um, the next page is the settings, basic settings page. All right. And this is sort of how you'd set up your network. So from here, you can connect to a Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And I see it looks like it's scanning for nearby Wi-Fi networks. That's right. And, uh, you know, if you are frequently, you know, at the same marina or at home or whatever it might be, um, it'll save those settings. Okay. So you connect once and you're always gonna be connected. Oh, so every time I leave my home dock and visit someplace, if it knows the Wi-Fi there, it'll link up automatically. And when I come back home, it'll link up to my house Wi-Fi too. That's right. And the other great thing about this is you may have, I don't know, half a dozen, a dozen connected devices on a boat. You only need to configure this router to connect to the Wi-Fi and all your other uh, devices will stay connected because it's at the, it's using the router as an access point. Oh, that's point. great. So the kids' tablets and smartphones. Oh, and and smart TVs, smart all TVs. of that, yes. All of that. Um, also in the basic settings, you're going to get uh, info on if you do have a SIM cards installed. Okay. So you can get some information about the SIM cards. We currently don't have them installed on this configuration. We will show how to do that in another video. Um, your access point. So this is how other people would access your boat network. So this is where you can set up a unique uh, what ne network name, um, where you can, can set the password to access the network, basically just setting up your own uh, Wi-Fi network okay. is done through this. So that's the point. network I would connect all of my devices on board to. Exactly. So anytime they step on board the boat, they link right up. And exactly. Stay connected exactly. either through Wi-Fi or 4G. That's right. Um, the info tab, now this one's really important because um, this is going to give you all of the sort of nuts and bolts about the router, the software it's using, MAC address, all that sort of stuff, also the software versions. Okay. But what's really cool about this page, if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see that QR code. Oh, yeah, there That's, it is. That is the same QR code that's on the side of this router. So if this thing is tucked away, if it's not you know easily accessible after it gets installed, 
don't worry, you can go right to that QR code on this page. That's cool, yeah, go to the home screen of your MFD, touch out sense link, and then get it, in here in the info tab. And that QR code is pretty critical because that's how you would actually onboard the Raymarine app, um, which we'll, we'll show you in a bit. So having that accessible is really important. Okay. What else we got here? I see we have a tab for connected devices. So if I had things linked, this is where it's going to show me Yep, all, all of the kids' devices and the TVs yep. and security cameras or whatever else I have. On Effectively, the just the status and, and the different network connections. So yep. it's just uh, it's just to give you some information on what's connected. Um, in the advanced settings, though, you're going to have a few more configuration options that are that are pretty important. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> a lot of stuff. So um, you know everything from how to upgrade the software is going to be in there. Um, you can reset the admin password. Again, the admin password is something that's located here on the, on the router itself. Um, but you can reset that to change it to anything you want, make it easier to remember, um, because this, this digit that comes on it is, is a pretty long yeah, digit. For security, yeah, pretty for, long for security. Yeah, for security, yes, exactly. Um, and you can do your factory resets if you have to do that. And this is also where you would configure your inputs and outputs. And we're gonna have a different video on that, that that'll walk through how to set those up. But that's where you would set it up. So if you wanted to do some digital switching, uh, on the boat, you could do it right through there. Okay, so definitely a lot of capability uh, in this interface, but it is pretty easy to get to it between the MFD interface or the QR codes and your, you know, any browser capable device can basically set this up. M multiple ways to access it. And, and once you get into it, again, it's very much like setting up your own home Wi-Fi. It's, it's pretty easy to do. Oh, very good. Well, thanks for taking us through it, Brian. So if you are interested in YachtSense Link, you can learn more at raymarine.com or check in with your local Raymarine dealer. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.